Welcome. My name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist for Fonz and Porter. In this tutorial, we will talk about the pattern called dot dot dash. To find and purchase the pattern for this quilt, visit our website. Okay, we've got pre-cut strips, wonderful collection of brights here. We're going to use 18 strips in this pattern. Um, and then we're going to coordinate it with a great white um, fabric to um, offset all those colors. So what we're going to do is take those two and a half inch strips and we're going to coordinate it with um, narrow strips of white that we've follow your pattern for the number of strips to cut for the, the narrow bars that we're going to put here. And we're going to join um, strip sets down through all of our fabrics. We're going to make a strip set like this with the narrow white, the two and a half inch um, print and then the white again and that will create a strip set that looks like this. You'll get really good at making strip sets and when you get done make sure that you've pressed your seams. Um, you can see the, the red thread that we use here is for your benefit. You would use probably a white thread in this um, project and press your seam allowances towards the center here like this. Now when we come in and we look and realize fabrics are never the same length and, or width um, off the yard goods. So what we need to do is co come in and uh, straighten up the edge and then cut the increments according to our pattern. Now for this one it calls for two and a half inch um, units and four and a half inch units. So what we can do is we're going to come in and we're going to overcut the first unit. We'll say the first one we're going to cut is two and a half inches. So maybe we'll just go beyond the two and a half just a little ways. So one, two, a half would be here, so we're just going to go a little bit beyond that. Line up one of the lines across the ruler with the seam allowance in our project so we know we're square. And we can cut that piece off. Then we can rotate this piece around. Always double check yourself when you come in. One, two, and a half so that you know that you're in the right place. And then with, this would be scrap so it goes away. And you would continue then cutting the two and a half or the four and a half inch pieces from your strip. A pattern will give you all the details for how many of these units off of each strip to cut and proceed in that fashion across. Now, if at any time when you come in to cut, um, for example, after five or six cuts, now this happens for everyone. It doesn't make a difference if you're a beginner, if you're a seasoned quilter. This line along here gets a little bit of a swing to it. So you can easily come in and overcut a piece and trim away, just making sure that you keep your cutting very accurate. Okay. Now we have two and a half and four and a half inch segments, and we've cut all of our white pieces into either small rectangles or squares. It's time to start assembling the blocks. Now, to keep your wits about you, you're going to want to watch the, uh, the diagrams look really closely at the assembly because there are actually two blocks we're going to create. The U and the R, they're labeled. So we've got one that's a dot dash. And if you know Morse code, maybe you'll know what we're saying, but um, this is how this one is assembled. Dot dash dot. So we've got the small rectangles in between each of these and we finish with a large white square at the end. Now once we've assembled this row it's going to look like this and you'll notice that I've pressed all my seam allowances in the direction the least resistance and these the the um, as I put the bar of the rectangles and the squares on I pressed toward that white fabric each time. So I've created this. That means we have a dot dash dot block, but we also need then 36 of the block that looks like this, where we have dot, dot, and then the dash. Therefore, that's where the name for the quilt came from. So they're very similar, uses two dots and a dash block, and this is 36 of these, you'll need 36 of these. Now, when you look at the quilt, the overall, they jump back and forth. So follow the pattern diagram, or you'll have a very original quilt. <laughs> for more of our video tutorials, visit our website. Thanks for joining me in the studio today.